What did you like most about this performance from you guys tonight? Uh, we stayed with it for the full 48 minutes. You know, I think as a group, um, we've been up. You know, we let teams back in it, and you can say we let them back in or whatever. But you know, we responded to continuous, you know, pressure. Our, deep, our offense in the second half got a little stagnant to start the third, um, but our defense stayed intact. You know, and they hit shots. We were overreacting because they hit the same shots that they were missing in the first half. You know, they got there, they shoot the, the hell out of the ball. You know, they're going to hit shots, but it's how do we respond to that and play through adversity? And you know, you look at us up and down. You know, we we really did a lot of really good things on the defensive end and obviously offensively we were able to dissect them uh, throughout the game. For you, you talked the other night after the loss against San Antonio about getting off to a good start and how much that mattered. Like, how much did you shoulder that tonight? Um, I would say a lot, you know, just trying to, you know, just set the tone, you know, like just come in there with us attacking and, you know, tonight, like I always say, it could be scoring, it could be different things, defense, but tonight it was just setting the tone and, you know, shots were falling early and continuously, you know, making the right plays and, you know, having an idea of how they're going to guard me, you know, having played them already so in, in the playoffs. So kind of having that knowledge coming into it, you know, helped definitely. But um, just as a, as a leader, just sometimes you got to come out there and just do it yourself, you know. And I didn't do it alone, but kind of setting that uh, tone from the jump. You know, Darius Garland came out phenomenal, you know, coming out, making two two shots, two great plays, right right to set the tone, getting stopped defensively. You know, we all follow suit. Lamar Stevens, man, he played a hell of a game. And, you know, I said to uh, Serena, it's weird to say you've held somebody to 30, but you know he made Luca work for for 30 points, and you know he's, he's MVP candidate, hell of a player, and you know Mar did a, did a really good job on. Him. You mentioned seeing Dallas in the playoffs. Yeah. Obviously, everybody knows that story. Yeah. How much juice was there to this game because I mean, of that history? I mean, it's it could it could have been them, it could be anybody. You know, I think for me, it's just understanding that you know, end of the day, they're kind of the reason why I'm in Cleveland. Like you know, they 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 did a great job on the, on the playoff series. So, you know, I'm, I'm thankful and I'm here, you know, I'm, I'm glad to be here. But in the same token, like I, like I said, it's just recognition. You know, I've played them a bunch of times in my career, played them six times in the playoffs with intense focus on different things. And, you know, obviously different personnel here. So I'm able to find gaps and I was kind of telling these guys and, and the, how they're going to attack me, how they're going to approach the second half. I didn't shoot as much in the second because I knew they were going to start, you know, blitzing and trying to take me out the game. But everybody did a great job. But, you know, I wouldn't say that, you know, it's, you know, like I'm coming in like, all right, cool. You know, we see these guys again and we got to, you know, be ready for them. But for me, like I said, just trying to set the tone. I think more of it was just setting the tone after the San Antonio loss than coming in here worried about last year. You know, last year, honestly, made me just a better player, you know, as, as a whole. And, you know, you take those lessons and you learn and you implement them in the game. Jonathan, uh, we're about a week and a half. Oh, week, yeah, a week and a half away from Dirk's. Uh, 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 statue going up. Um, just thoughts about that. Dirk statue is going up on Christmas Day. Just really? yeah, uh, thoughts about that, and then also favorite memory playing against him or watching him growing up. <laughs> um, it's gonna be weird. Um, you know, obviously Dirk's a Hall of Famer. You know, one of one of the best to play this game. Um, you know, my memory that comes to my mind at first is he tried to post me up in Utah and I got a steal. <laughs> I think it was like my rookie year or something, and you know, I always forever. You know, keep that. You know, I got to steal on Dirk and somebody. I only played against him, I think, for one year, two years. So I didn't get much time. You know, and that was the, the older Dirk. You know, uh, but you know, being able to say I got to stop in the post on Dirk, I'm gonna count it as a stop. So I, I'm, I think that's um, my my biggest memory, and he deserves it, man. Look what he's done in his career. You know, I was uh, a LeBron Heat D Wade fan, and he gave me some sleepless nights. You know, as a fan. <laughs> so you know, it's pretty dope what he's he's done for here and how the community and the organization showed him love right back. You know, that's ultimately what it's about um, in sport. And, you know, he's 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 one of the best players that's played the game. Anything else, Mike? Chris? You, you talked about Lamar and the defense on Luka. You had a lot of matchups against Luka. Mm -hmm. Can you speak to just how good of an effort that was from Lamar tonight? Um, I think the biggest thing I take away is his discipline. You know, um, you know, I've seen Royce O'Neal, who's obviously one of my best friends. He's going at it. And, and it's been positive games. It's been games where Lucas had uh, good games, and I've seen those battles. You know, so watching a guy like Lamar, who's, you know, I wouldn't say younger, but not as experienced in that in that way, guarding guarding Luca from a playoff standpoint, from a men mental standpoint, and to see him come out there like this um, against one of the top players in our league, you know, that's that's huge. You know, and I think that's a, that's a big step for him. You know, everybody's going to point to the 18 and 11, but I'm looking down and just seeing how he's just making Luca work, man continuously work and find ways to 
you know, make it tough. And obviously, we was gonna find a way to get 30 and whatever, whatever. But to see a guy like Mar take that challenge on a nightly basis, you know, come out there ready to go, um, you know, he's 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 doing it. You know, I mean, you're seeing it, and he's putting a lot of work in. And you know, on the offense man, he's coming in and still making shots, still making the right plays. And you know, like I said um, a few weeks ago, he's the one guy to kind of on the huddle. You know, to be able to guard Luca and then come in and still the energy to be able to talk and you know, to only have. Was it two fouls? Like, you know, that's tough to do, and, you know, credit to him. On the other end, what does it do for you guys offensively to get 18 from him? Um, a lot. You know, he was in the right spots. You know, he only had one three, but he took six. I tell him to shoot it every time he can because he's in the – him and Isaac are the, the first ones in the gym every day shooting threes. Um, you know, and they're continuously working at their craft. You know, you see him slash and see him get into the bucket. He's a great finisher in the paint. Um, gets to his mid-range, which is a signature in Penn State for him. Um, so just being able to see him continuously excel on that on that end, and teams are gonna teams are gonna leave him open. It's gonna make him pay, you know, and that's we trust him, and I, we all tell him that. And on a continuous basis, you see him different things from on offense, man. Whether it's getting to the rim, hitting threes, making the right plays, dribbling up to a handoff to a roll, like he's doing so many different things that are high level uh, from an intellectual standpoint. That's you know shows that his growth, you know, just throughout this season from the, from the time I've known him. Yeah. So, but real quick, um, how dangerous do you think you and DG could be at your full potential? Um, I think we could be very dangerous. But you know, I said this at my press conference. At the end of the day, it's going to take time. We got to we got to go out there and put the work in. You know, on paper, you know, it looks good and well, and you know. But I think at the end of the day, we have both continuous growth. You know, uh, myself and him, um, and you know, just finding ways to play off each other, and we're finding that, and we're doing it. We can. And the crazy part is, we can be better. You know, and I think that's something that we're continuously working on, whether it's watching film. It's um, you know continuously working together on the court, you know. But our chemistry off the floor and on the floor is it's easy, and it makes it easier uh, when you have a guy just as unselfish as you are to continue to find a way to make plays and continue to lead this group.